Hello my lovelies, it's Holly and today I thought I would do another haul video for you. This time I'm going to show you everything that I bought in London and don't worry this video is not going to be as long as my last haul. That one was quite ridiculous, I don't know how I managed to blob on for that long. First thing I bought while we were in London was from v and um, I had a couple of hours to kill while I was there before I got into the Glamour of Italian Fashion exhibit. And so I was like, after walking around the museum, I was like, I'll find myself a book and read it. And so I bought Dior by Dior, the autobiography of Dior, obviously. Um, I love Dior, obviously, he's amazing, but I've never really known that much about him. And so I thought, I should probably catch up and sort of see what he's about and what better way to do it than from his words. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this book uh, contains. I think it's about like the first nine years of his um, starting his own house, but I'm not entirely shocked because I only read the first chapter. But it was really interesting and I'm hoping the rest of it's going to be just as good. And he's actually quite a good narrator of his own life, that sounds very weird, but like it's, it's, from what I read so far it's really interesting so hopefully the rest of it will be just as good and I'm looking forward to reading that. The second bunch of things I bought while in London was from Cheap Monday. I love Cheap Monday. They have a concession in Urban Outfitters, or in most of them I think, and I've got one of their like uh, grey sweatshirts with a massive skull on the front of it, and I love it, and that massive skull on the front of it, and I just love it, I think it's awesome. And so when we were in London I saw one of their shops on Candy Street and I was like, I'm going in. So I bought two white tops, like t-shirts, which I said I wouldn't do, I said I wouldn't buy any more white t-shirts I've got so many of them. but. These are really liked and they're not that similar to those I've got so I thought it sort of makes an ex exception to the rule. But this was the first one. I, yeah, it's a bit weird. <laughs> it's collar on it there and it's like one of the um, sort of baggy, long, dipped cut, no sleeve type things. And yeah, it's a bit weird. Um, it's an eye and then another eye and then some dribbling bits. I don't really know what that's supposed to symbolise or be the point of it, but I just thought it was weird and I liked that it was weird. Yeah, I just think it's really cool. It's not like anything else I've got and it's a bit different and makes people stop and look at it twice, but yeah, I just thought it was really strange and, and that appealed to me. Um, this one was £25, which is a bit much for just a t-shirt without any sleeves on it, but I bought another one and that was only £7.50 in the sale, so I was like kind of evens out a bit. Um, and the second one I got is the same style, a uh, long dip cut no sleeve thing and it's got a load of writing on it. It's this crazy sexy cool, I think with weird symbols, I think that's what it's supposed to say. But yeah, same thing again with the sleeves and I just thought that was pretty cool as well. And I didn't really have anything like that. And it's for £7.50 and £25 for that one I was like, that's not bad for the two of them. I thought they were pretty cool so I bought those ones. And then the next place we went was Urban Outfitters. Um, yeah, I went to Urban Outfitters on uh, Oxford Street because there's a massive sale on and I was like, <gasps> Urban Outfitters sales, oh my god. I always end up coming away with a few things like, they do me so well. I don't know how because everyone else says, oh I never find anything in there, I find so much. First thing, well, kind of bought two handbags <laughs> and you're thinking, why do you need two? There are reasons. First one I bought was this gorgeous orange leather across the body satchel type purse thing. <laughs> it's by Vagabond. It's got the name on the back of the... if my camera wants to focus? Maybe I'll see that. Uh, yeah, it's just a really simple plain little leather purse and you open it up and it's got two little compartments and I just thought it was really really cute and would go perfectly with my dress that I'm going to wear for my uncle's wedding in a few weeks. I've got a white dress and it's got green, orange, pink and yellow flowers on it and I was like, I've got white shoes, white dress, orange will actually stand out with it a bit more and make it look really nice and so I've got an orange little purse thing and it's adorable. This was about £30 um, but I think I got a bit off it with student discount. What did I just say? I think I got a bit off it with student discount, it's what I meant to say rather than mumbling. And I've just done it again. I'm hopeless. Okay. Um, and the second handbag that I bought was this gorgeous brown satchel. It is beautiful. Like, it's got a nice long strap, half leather, half chainy bits. 
and it's, it's a lovely satchel or a handle at the top and you just push that bit up, that bit unpops, open it up, you've got different pockets and sections and then a big bit in the middle and you've got a pocket on the back of it as well. And I just thought it was dead sweet and really cute. I've been wanting a brown satchel like ever since the beginning of the summer just for when I'm going out and meet up with my friends and I didn't want to take my huge black handbag with me because I take it everywhere and wear it with everything. I just wanted something a bit smaller and a bit more cute and adorable and so I got this. I really really like it. It was £25 which again with a bit different discount I got a bit of it. So I think in all the handbags came to about 50 quid, which for two handbags isn't too bad and they're both really cute and have got a bit of character and they're a bit different so pretty happy with them. And the last thing I bought while we were in London came from Vivian Westwood. Although I didn't actually go into a Vivian Westwood shop, we went to World's End which is 140, no, 430 Kings Road in Chelsea. It used to be Vivian Westwood and Malcolm and McLaren's shop Sex in the punk era, so like in the 1970s. And I'm a huge punk fan and so is my dad and I was like, I really want to go see it and he was like, oh well yeah, that might be a cool place to go to have a check out. And I knew it was now World End's Vivian's shop, but I just had to go in and see it because that was such like a hotspot for generating huge trends and just the whole punk era in the 70s and 80s and I was like, I love that time, the music and the styles that came out of that, I really want to go see it. So we went in and I bought something and yeah, against my own sort of judgement and saying that I'm not going to buy any more white t-shirts, I bought another one. <laughs> um, this time it... Yeah, it's pretty much the same as all my old ones, but it's not quite. It is one of Vivian Westwood's. I'll move the tag out of the way. It might be easier to see it. One of Vivian Westwood's Save the Arctic t shirts. This is awesome. She, Vivian, has like taken it upon herself as this is her like new um, campaign to help raise awareness of how important the Arctic is and how we need to save it and look after it. And I think that's really cool. She wears these t-shirts all the time and she's putting them on all of her catwalk collections that you'll see at Fashion Week. And I think the design is really beautiful. It's got the big heart-shaped world and then the Save the Arctic and then like the um, addresses at the bottom for the pages and stuff. What? Excuse my father for rudely interrupting. Um, yeah, so this is one of Vivian's Save the Arctic t-shirts. I really like it. I was like, I can't not go to World's End and not get one. And I'm not, I didn't just buy it because, oh, it's one of Vivian's things. Like, I do believe in what it says as well. I think the Arctic is important and we do need to save it because if we don't and sea levels rise, that's going to cause a lot of problems for a lot of people, including ourselves. And people might not realise that as much. So I do think it's important to raise awareness. So I'm really happy with this. It's just beautiful. The fabric's really nice as well. This was £35, which is a bit much for a white t-shirt, but I was expecting it to be about 50 quid. It is one of Vivian's and it is one of her Save the Arctic ones. I was expecting it to be a lot more, so I'm fairly happy with how much it cost. I'm perfectly happy to pay that. And I think it's just really nice, and hopefully I'll be able to style it in a similar way to Vivian does, and it'll look really cool. I hope. And that's it, that was the last thing I bought while we were down there. Um, it was a really great trip and I'm sure by now you guys have seen my London um, photo diary. Um, I'm not sure when this will go up in comparison to my other posts but there will be a little mini lookbook on my blog and a vlog of the day that we did go shopping while we are in London um, that will probably go up after this one. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope that you're all having an amazing summer and enjoying the last two days of the sunshine. Um, yeah, if you're going away anywhere, that's awesome. Have so much fun. Um, and I hope you get a better tan than I've got because I am still pasty white. But yes, um, that's it for today's video. Like, comment, subscribe, comment on the blog, comment on YouTube, do whatever you want on it. <laughs> Just let me know if you liked today's video and I'll do more in the future. Hopefully this is shorter than my other one. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm going to shut up now and I will see you all later. Bye!